Thank you for joining me on our TMK Essentials training video. Uh, this is part one, the basics. My name is Ron. I am tech support with Whole Information Service. Uh, Whole Information Service, we are an MLS provider, mainly for Koi and Hawaii Island. Uh, but we do have a separate part of our system that is just public records or public data. Um, you guys, we call our, our TMK customers. Um, our system is called Research and we are located at hawaiiinformation.com. Um, our system is browser-based, so feel free to use your preferred browser, uh, Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox. Um, I am using Chrome today. So go ahead and type hawaiiinformation.com in your address bar. You'll land on our homepage, click on member login, and you'll get to our username and password fields. Uh, before we do that, over on, on the right-hand side, is some important resources you can take a look at. Uh, what I wanted to show you is our data status link right here. Clicking that will open up this little window and it will give you the dates on how current we are with our with our data from the various counties. Uh, building data is down here, assessed values, uh, where we are with that. Um, so yeah, you can take a look at this, see where the, how update, how up to date the system is. Close that. So that is the data status link right here under important resources. Okay, at the login screen, let's go ahead and enter in your username and password. Login, and this is research. So when you log in, you are gonna land on this page. Um, any of our MLS uh, members that are viewing this video, it, your system does look different, but yeah, feel free to stick around. Um, anything we are gonna be doing in these videos or in these TMK Essentials videos, you can do with your system. It's just your system can do a little bit more with the MLS data also. Okay, over on the left-hand side, this is what we call our main menu. Uh, these two sections can be expanded and collapsed, the market and search, by clicking the little plus. Or you can click directly on the uh, category header to get in here. And you know, from you know, when you expand one of these categories, of course, you can then select some of these sub subsections within the categories. Moving across the top, we have tabs up top. So our system does have tabs. Um, when you move through the system and you are clicking on different things, uh, more tabs are going to uh, pop up up here at the top. Uh, right now, you, we just have search and recent. But yeah, as you go through, you are going to see more tabs where you can easily navigate between between things, between pages. Over to the right is this little cluster of icons. First one is your basket. Uh, we're not gonna go over the basket in this video, but um, that, that is your basket, so you can recognize it later on. Next over is the connect icon. Uh, this is gonna be used by support when we want to initiate a remote session with you. If something is just happening on your screen and you know we would like to see, like, see it on your, on your system, where we might ask you to, to click on that. But um, I mean, best case scenario is you never have to click on it, but, but at least you know what that is. That's connect. Uh, next over is our help. I'm clicking on this. I'm going to click on it. This is going to link out and going to come to our knowledge base. Um, so uh, this is a collection of our help guides where you can just enter in some key keywords or just type in you know, what you're looking for. Now the system will auto find it and you can click on the, the guides we created. Um, they're mostly walkthroughs, maybe some some definitions for some terms that uh, you might not know about, some abbreviations, you know, things things like that. Just go ahead and type that in this knowledge base, and you'll find it. Now, this is where you want to first come if uh, you are looking for help. Hopefully, we have already created a guide and a walkthrough for you, uh, especially after hours. So you kind of want to come in here after business hours. Okay, let's click back to research. So that's help right there. Don't forget about that one. Next one over, uh, pause and log out. Uh, so these are important because, okay, so with your TMK access, um, whoever signed up for it, signed up for a certain number of simultaneous um, accesses. So I mean, mostly it's gonna just be one at a time unless you signed up for extras. Um, you do want to log out because if you are using the system and you you just close your browser without logging out, but you try to jump jump in right away or jump back in, uh, this, uh, our server 
didn't know you ended your other session. So when you try to log back in, you might see a message that says too many users. Um, because of course the server thinks your other session is still open. But anyway, just yeah, be sure to use the logout to tell the system you're done. Um, next to it is the pause. Uh, this will just um, put your session on hold for a little bit. So for example, if you're if you are in the system but your coworker wants to get in, you can just click on the pause. You'll get this little window letting you know that you're paused. They can get in, do whatever they have to do. They're done. They log out. Make sure they log out without just closing their browser. Um, just continue and you'll uh, resume where you left off. Okay. Uh, far right is your toggle menu. Um, clicking on this will just give you, it'll hide the main menu and you will, uh, you just have more, more room in the main area. Useful if you're on a really small screen or things like that, or you just, you just like to hide the main menu. You just go ahead and toggle this off by clicking on it. Um, when you do have your uh, menu toggled off, you can just move your mouse over to the left-hand side. And once you touch the side, the, the menu will slide out. Then you can you can make your selection and navigate once it's open. Um, to hide it, simply move away, and the, the menu hides itself once you're off. So to the left, slides out, move off, it hides. Um, you can also, of course, just click this button, the, the, med, the toggle button again to, to bring it back up. Okay, your name is going to be populated up here, <clears throat> or I should say the primary person on the account's name is going to be here. Hopefully that's you. Uh, if not, um, or you can click on it and you'll get these tiles that slide out. Uh, most of these tiles are already on this cluster up here, upper right hand side, except for this one, um, contact HIS. Clicking on this will generate an email form where you can fill out, select your purpose. Um, so, so this is sending um, email to us, to our office. And selecting the purpose will, will route it correctly to the correct department. Uh, if you are not primary on the account, and you know somebody else's name or um, whoever is primary, their office, their their name is going to populate in this name field. Um, be sure to delete it out and put your information here. Same thing with your email. Um, the, this demo account I'm on doesn't have an email address, but you will see the primary person's email. Make sure you do put in your information that way when we reply we are replying to the correct person you know if that's not you and we reply to them they're, they're going to be confused as to to why they're getting an email uh, the copy me is also going to send to whoever's on here so again if you have this checked you can uncheck it if you want but if you have this checked and that's not your email you hit send they're going to be confused as to why they got they got a they got an email Okay, um, so this actually goes for any time you're sending email from our system. So say you're looking at search results and you want to email that directly from our system to your client or to whoever, make sure you put your email address in there because when they reply, they might you know, go to the primary person. Okay, to the main section here. The main section meaning our standard search. Um, on the search section, uh, each category you can just hover your mouse over it and you'll get a little hover help with the uh, bubble that pops up kind of letting you know what each field is all about you can just hover it over there your search now is on the bottom on the bottom this is how you um, initiate a search you fill out your search fields and then you hit search um, you can count your results um, let's go ahead and enter in a tax key to run a search Okay, so I entered in the tax key all the way down to the parcel. I'm gonna hit search now, and I get my one search result since I drilled down to, to parcel six. Okay, let's modify to go back. Okay, um, tax keys. Um, hopefully you are uh, familiar with tax keys. Um, this is gonna be the prim type primary way you navigate our system and refer to parcels and things like that. Um, if you're not familiar with tax keys, or actually, um, okay, so when you get a tax key from the county, it's not going to look like how I just entered it in, but we do need you to enter in tax keys in this proper formatting in, in our system. I'm going to open up our knowledge base again. Oh, actually, I have a tab open. Okay, um, if you're not, uh, or I, uh, if you're not familiar with how to translate 
tax keys into how we want you to enter in, into our system, please come to this knowledge base uh, page and enter in understanding tax keys. Or you can just type in um, beginning of it and the, the system will auto find it. Understanding tax keys in research. Okay, scroll down. Okay, so when you get your tax key from the county or from your client or whoever, it is likely going to look like this. We need you to translate it into this in order to enter it into our search. So in order to do that, um, you do have to know how to break down the tax key. So for example, if you have this one, your two is going to be your zone, your three is your section, zero, zero, 004 is your plat, etc. cetera. Uh, we do need you to break it up. We want you to remove the leading zeros. So remove these zeros. And then you're going to uh, place dashes between each section. And then you're going to add your island code. So uh, this, tax key, this tax key came from Oahu, so you do have to put a one in front of it. Um, if you're, you know, if you're not familiar, yeah, please come to this research, um, this knowledge base guide and take a look at this, read through the example and the process, uh, things like that. Um, it's actually pretty easy once you, you know, once you do it a couple of times, it, it's actually pretty simple, but, but it is something we need you to do in order to search in our system. But yeah, so please come in here first, um, take a look, the, look at the examples, kind of study it. If you're still having problems, yeah, feel free to give us a call or send us an email, and we'll definitely um, try to try to help you understand this a little a little more. Okay, so that is understanding tax keys in research within our knowledge base. Okay, back to research. Um, the reason we want you to use the dashes is because when you enter the tax key in the tax key search field. Um, it, it's just how you're running your search. So again, um, I entered in this tax key down to parcel six. When I hit my search, I get one result. So I'm going to hit count instead, and I get one property match. But you can also take off the parcel and just search plat. So plat five, if I hit count now, I'm getting 665 properties. If I take it down to zone four, or section four, excuse me, section four, Hit count, I have 10,000 already. But yeah, so this is how you're searching. So you're searching in um, section four of zone two on Oahu. Uh, that, that's uh, the main the main way you're gonna search the system. Um, uh, still, if you're not, not still, but um, for a little more clarification on uh, tax keys, um, within our market category, we have our subdivision list. Uh, you can click on this, uh, depending on what island you wanna look at. I'm gonna look at Oahu. Just check mark that. I'm gonna hit search now. And um, yeah, so we do have a breakdown of um, the subdivisions and which which zones they're in or which sections they're in. So in zone one, section one, you have Alia Manu, Wanlua Gardens, Wanlua Valley, et cetera, et cetera. So um, yeah, just come on this page. If you're looking for something, just hit um, control F. I just hit control F on my keyboard. I got that little find the window up there. And I can find uh, Kapahulu. It'll tell me um, the sub the subdivisions where they are. So Kapahulu is going to be under one dash three dash one. I can search that, and it's going to find um, properties in Kapahulu. It's going to also include Diamond Head, but um, but but yeah. So th this is just a little help to to um, to know what subdivisions are in what um, what sections. Okay, so that was your subdivision list right here under Market. Let's go back to the search. Um, but yeah, so in my examples, uh, notice I was taking stuff away or taking digits away from the tax key. And so for example, I, for example, I put it back to plat five. I am now only searching in plat five and there are 665 properties in plat five with no other search parameters, just literally the amount of parcels within plat five. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's uh, drill down to parcel six again so I can see my search results. Okay, so once you run a search and you have search results, so I just have one, but you could have many in here. Um, once you're on this page, uh, we want you to use these action menu or action buttons down here on the bottom in order to do anything with it. So uh, if you want to print, definitely use this print button. So if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit print, um, if you're not familiar with what these are, just hit print page. Page will just grab everything you see on the page and it, it'll print it. 
So this is how Chrome generates its print preview. You can kind of see what you're going to get, hit print, and send it to your printer. I'm going to cancel. Definitely do not use Chrome's printing or any of your browsers. Don't hit this. Don't hit your menu. Don't hit print, because if you do, um, it's going to grab, you know, the top menu, the side menu. It, that's just, don't, don't do that. Definitely use the action buttons on the bottom. Okay. So yeah, these are your action buttons. Um, you can copy, if I hit copy page, what this is going to do is going to give me a clean page where I'm going to control A, control C on my keyboard, and then I'm going to open up a Word document or um, a blank email in my Outlook, and I'm going to paste it into the body of Outlook, things like that. That's what you do with copy. Uh, email, email page is going to generate the email form. So this is going to send from within research. So again, make sure you take off whoever's name this is in case that's not you. Put your name on there. Uh, from, same thing, take away the email address, make sure you put yours, and then you can send it off. Okay. Uh, you can PDF, same thing. It's the same bubbles. You know, e e every one of these that you click on, you get the same bubble. You can just hit page to send it. Okay. Modify to go back. Um, in order to uh, control what your search results look like, um, you're going to want to use this format button. So this section up here, this is controlling what your search results look like. So here's your sort, you know, how your, how your results are being sorted, how many per page. You can change this number. And also in your format dropdown, you will select what your search results look like. So we are just using TMK, which we call our TMK one line. That's why we're getting that one line of, of data. I'm going to switch this over to TMK quick, or just let's go down the line to short. TMK short, I'm going to hit search now. And instead of the one line of data, I get property basics and I get sales. So this is what um, TMK short gives you if you select that and then run your search. It's modified to go back. So yeah, so this, you open up your, your format dropdown, go ahead and play with any of these. You can combine um, format. So I have TMK short here. Uh, I also want to include the DPP or Department of Planning and Permitting section. So I have short and DPP. I'm going to hit search. I get my short up top. And if I scroll down, I get my little DPP section, Department of Planning and Permitting section on here. And then, of course, from here, I can print it, do whatever I want to do with it here. Okay. Okay, so... Um, yeah, thank you for joining me on this video on um, just the basics. Uh, hopefully this gets you started on using our system. Uh, feel free to stick around and um, join me on our second video on part two. Next, whatever's after basics. Okay, hope you guys are having a great day. Um, aloha.